Hi, my name is Matt Larson. We're in Las Vegas at the Infocom 2016. We want to show you some really cool upgrades that we've uh, announced that are about to ship here. Um, this is for the entire SD series. It's called the Core 2. What happens with the Core 2 software, we basically blew it up. We made the processing a lot more efficient. We gave you a much higher channel count. So as an example, an SD9, which did 48 mono or stereo, will now do 48 stereo or up to 96 inputs, mono inputs. So it's like every model just jumped up in the channel count to the next bigger model. In addition, we flattened all the graphics. A couple key things that we did is when I come into my dynamics, I can come into my graphs and actually show a much better feedback, visual feedback for the engineer. Let's say if I go into my multi-band compressor, you can actually see the three multi-bands here and actually control them all off the touch screen. So that's a fantastic little upgrade here. It's about a smoother, uh, easier process for the engineer. Now, in addition, one of the things that we added with the Core 2 is before the tube emulation, the dynamic EQ, and the multi-band compression was actually limited depending on the model of the desk. When the Core 2 is released, you're going to get dynamic EQ, multi-band compression on every single input and every single output. Now, in addition, the SD7 is going to get an engine upgrade. With the engine upgrade, it's going to go from 253 inputs up to 640 uh, inputs or outputs. Now, what's critical about this, it's not that we needed 640 inputs or outputs, it's that this is processing power. So let's say I have 100 inputs uh, of the musicians, and I'm going to do we'll say 50 aug sends. What I'm able to do is every single aug send pot will have a thing called nodal processing. So every single, down a vocal channel, every single mix can have its own unique EQ and dynamics. That's a really big upgrade and that's on the SD7 which has a Quantum 7 engine upgrade. In addition, when we do that, we then will blow up our solo buses and the solo bus is going to allow me then to actually change the point of my soloing so I can actually move the point all the way through any channel strip of that uh, of the audio so you can actually hear what your end results are. So what it is, is a recap, it's the Core 2 software available on every single desk. That's a, it's the only time we've ever charged for software, but it's a nominal amount because you're getting the next bigger model. On the SD7, it's an engine upgrade with the software upgrade. Phenomenal system, so come check it out. Don't forget to go to digico.biz for more information. Thanks for coming. <laughs>